Fox 10 Arizona Morning with Ron Hu, Rick DeVico, Alexis Del Chiaro, and Corey McCloskey. Welcome back. Uh, we are paying for a lot of gas. Gas prices are so high. In Chicago over the weekend, four dollars and thirty cents. Regular unloaded. I mean, it's ridiculous. Yesterday when I filled up, it, it stopped at fifty dollars. Well, because I, I was they, using my debit card in that gas station, I get stops at fifty dollars on a debit card. Come on, I you didn't don't, even fill it up. You don't want to pay more than that, anyway, do you? No. <laughs> <laughs> gas prices are so high that some people are actually driving across the border because. Gas is cheaper in Mexico. That's right. People in Texas say the deals on diesel in Mexico are so good it's worth waiting in the port of entry line to get the lower gas prices. Drivers are paying up to 50% less for gas. There are some restrictions, though. Uh, those who plan to sell the diesel in the U.S. have to follow federal hazmat rules. A valley company spent a little over $1,000 to retrofit each of their company vans so that they don't ever need to fill up at the gas pump again. This is pretty cool. What are they doing here? They're, uh, they're actually saving hundreds of dollars in gas. Diane Ryan is going to explain to us how this works, Diane. Hey, good morning. I'm in the garage of uh, this brand new company. It's called uh, PC911, and we're right off 37th Avenue in Thomas. And uh, they're starting their business today, but that's not why we're here. We're here because take a look at the side of their van. We're green. This vehicle runs on 100% veggie oil, and we do mean that because we're in the garage. We want you to take a look right over here. This is all the veggie oil that they are using to fill four of their ambulances. With me is Chad Stone, and this is saving you a lot of money, and how does it work? Well, it's very simple. We go right from fryer to fuel. We take waste oil. We pick up from restaurants. This is like from McDonald's or someplace like that Bar, where they fry French fries yeah, and stuff like that? All those places, and you can see it's really dirty, filthy stuff. Yeah, and then what do you do with it? Uh, just, we just go and pour it right in our fueling station that we built. You built this yourself, this you and this myself, it. yep. It's uh, all pretty common parts you can get, um, almost at Home Depot, most of them. Okay, it looks pretty simple. It's very simple. It's just a pump and a whole bunch of strainers. So we're pouring the the, uh, the fuel in here, the, the vegetable oil. Really. Right in there, and as you can see, it filters right down, gets any of the bits of matter out, and then, it's, then we're going to go and turn on our pump right here. And all it's going to do is pump this out of this barrel right into a filter strainer, and we'll put it right in our tank. Let's go watch and put it in the tank. And we're, I don't know if you can see that, but we're, oh, yeah. we're fueling up. Now, how many uh, gallons do you put in here? This one takes about 30 gallons. 30 gallons. And how much money do you think you're saving? Oh, wow. We're, we're saving over $120 a tank now. Um, we, we pay back for the conversion in 10, 10 tank bolts. Yeah, that's right. You said you, anybody can do this pretty much. Yeah, anyone can do this. All you need is a diesel vehicle. Now, we're going to uh, have uh, Juan kind of show us the back of the truck. The reason why you picked an ambulance is because you had so many things to carry. Yeah, we had so many things to carry. When you're fixing computers and all that, you don't want to have to run away for two hours and come back and get the parts. PC911, we carry the parts with us. That makes it easy. Do you think that uh, people at home could do this for their own cars? What, what, do, you, what do you need? Um, just a diesel vehicle and a straining kit to strain the oil. That's really it. Um, their conversions are very common online. You can really just search vegetable oil conversion. And you do pick up uh, your used vegetable oil from uh, restaurants and places restaurants, like that? Restaurants, bars, buffets, anyone who fries, we can do it. Uh, Thanksgiving's a big day for us. Let me get this out. Oh, okay, yeah, we'll turn this off. It is a little noisy, but you don't have it on for too long. No, we don't have it on for too long. Um, yeah, Thanksgiving's a great, great holiday for us because everyone's frying their turkeys now. Oh, that's right. Now, let's uh, show them the engine. Do you have to convert your engine as well? Is it pretty easy? It's, it's, uh, it's you know, you want a mechanic to do it, definitely, mm -hmm. but it's not, it's not a very expensive process, and you don't have to do it. They don't actually do anything to the engine. It's all done right here. And what they do is just reroute the fuel lines so they're heated up. Vegetable oil gets thinner when you heat it up so it can go through the fuel system. Well, that's great. So uh, as you can see, uh, they really do take uh, fuel from the frying pan and put it into their fuel tank. And it seems to be working here, and we may be seeing even more of it. He put, in fact, he expects to get as many calls about this as he does about PC repair. So, I get, so this is only just to emphasize, just for diesel engines, 
This is for diesel. You've got to have a diesel engine, yeah. right? You've got to have a diesel engine. Okay. Yeah, you have to have a diesel engine. And he said that the popular cars now are the old Volvos and the old Mercedes. Mercedes Benz are diesel. going on Craigslist to try to, to find those cars. Yeah. yeah. To, oh. to, to use the fuel. Sounds like a good idea if you have diesel. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Can you imagine how much like money thing? you're saving if you could get the uh, uh, used vegetable oil for free because they're going to throw it out anyway, right? It's true. What They'll probably start selling it now that it's uh, increased in value, but... Gee whiz, that's a great idea. It is. If it works, it works. All right.